All right, since we're making two rod holders, first thing I'm going to do is cut the base of it. I want it at an angle, so it'll stick down in the dirt a little bit. I'm going to take clean all these up with a file real quick, sandpaper, make them look a little better. There we go. Okay, so here's a quick part of it. Got your Y, one and a half inch, one and a half inch, down to three quarter threaded. That's going to fit up in there. Now I've got the threaded. That's where the PVC is going to fit up in. Let's do a quick fit. That'll go three quarter inch. Got the angle cut on the bottom. That's going to go up there. That's how it's going to sit. Now one more thing I like to do for stability, I'm going to run a bolt through there. So I'm going to mark that side, that side, which is nice because there's already marks on the PVC. Holes are drilled. Ready to bolt together. Another thing I'm going to do though, this is how it's oriented. In order to keep the rods from rocking all over, where that sharpie's at, I'm going to take and drill that out so that the base of the rod sets down in there and that, uh, and you guys are using bait casters. That way your rods don't flip upside down. So from there I can just trim it out. I'll show you. All right, got the bolt through. You get it put together? Maybe. Well, I'm gonna get show you. So two things. This bolt's gonna add strength. The other part it's gonna do. That bolt runs right through there, and that's gonna stop the rebar. Rebar is going to set up against here while it's in through here. I'll show you again when we get outside. There's a stud I'm using. Drives down in the ground. Rod holder. Bolts right here. So you can drive it down in the ground as far as you want. Push this down in it. That's what's going to hold. Alright, here you go. Here's the beauty of this. 